So this video is going to show you how to add and change uh, users on your S2 system. Your login may look a little different. You should have been given a username and password uh, for you, but I'm going to log in here to our local system. On the left hand side here, when you log in, you will probably only be seeing monitor and administration. So expand administration and let's first uh, add a person. So we're going to add a person here and I'm going to make it fake is his last name and user is first name. Uh, if you need to add this badge to start and end a certain date, you can do an expiration on that person. Um, here's where you add a credential so you can add this person. I'm going to put in a fake ID here. Five, 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 five. I'm going to hit tab. Um, that should automatically put it into the encoded window. Uh, here, this is what we're using. Yours may something say something different. You shouldn't have a huge list like this. It should literally be defaulting to what yours is appropriate. Um, it should come up as active. Uh, if you need to put an expiration on that card, that's fine. Um, the regular access card, you can leave it alone. If you're not sure about this person's hot stamp number and coded number and everything, uh, what you can do is do this. You can add a new credential and then click read. Uh, you then pick the door in which you'd like to read it. And this one is the front door. Uh, you present the card there and it will automatically pull that into the system. Uh, five, 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 five as an example. I'm going to put that back in. All the rest of this is extra stuff. Um, but maybe we'll go through it in another video. Uh, you're going to have access levels that are different from here. Usually we're going to have something that says like all staff front door and that would let someone in the front door back door whatever is appropriate for you you to give them certain rights you click this puts it over this side usually it room access is separate uh, and then you click that and send that over it access is usually only it room access if you give them it room access it will not give them access to the front door that's traditionally how we set up the logic um, when you're done you just click save and as you can see, that now added this person into the system. If you needed to change this person, you just come here on the left to change delete. And you can search by last name, first name, or if you don't have a lot of users, search. Um, you can see here's a bunch of people here at our office. Uh, here's the fake user that I added. Just click on that and you can modify as you need. Uh, in this case, I'm going to delete these credentials and add a new if I wanted to or evoke I'm actually going to delete this person now go back to change delete search fake user is now gone um, <clears throat> also you can see up here if you go back to monitor activity log you can see on ours here's where I came in the front door Allison a whole bunch of people came in the front door um, you can see that these all worked all right, and that's it.